and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here this evening. There's some really smart and accomplished people here that we're here to celebrate. My name is Corey Nicotine, and I've been nominated for an Everyday Political Citizen Award for my work with Knowledge is Power and I Human Youth Society. My name is Alyssa Frampton. I was nominated by Marisa of the Boys and Girls Club of Canada for my work in civically engaging young people across Canada. Actively engaging in the democratic process sets many in this room apart from most Canadians. CPAC joins Samara Canada, a national nonpartisan charity for the third annual Everyday Political Citizen Awards, celebrating ordinary people from across the country doing extraordinary things to become the change they want to see in their communities and the world. When there's so much cynicism towards politics today, what we really need are some positive role models that people can identify with because they are their next door neighbor, they're their colleague, they're their family member, they're their friend up the street. And so we set out by asking Canadians to nominate everyday political citizens to find a network of Canadians across the country. And to date, we've had over 700 nominated. More than 300 people of all ages and from diverse backgrounds were nominated for being inspiring examples of engaged citizens. Luke Anderson, the founder of the Stopgap Foundation, is one of 21 nominees who made it to the shortlist. He was chosen from the 30-plus age category. It's just such a, an exciting moment in, in the Stopgap story. We, we started four years ago in Toronto's Junction neighbourhood with the goal of raising awareness and starting a conversation about the barriers in, in our communities that prevent people from, from accessing the spaces that, that they really want to. Anderson uses a wheelchair following a mountain biking accident in 2002 that left him paralyzed. Through his foundation, the Toronto Engineer has supplied hundreds of businesses across the country with ramps at a low cost or free of charge. I'm proud to say that we've now got uh, over 800 stopgap ramps across the country from Charlottetown and Halifax on the East Coast to, to Vancouver and Prince George uh, on the West Coast and everywhere in between. Jane Hilderman, Samara Canada's Executive Director, highlights two nominees in the 18 to 29 category who made the shortlist. Uh, Kadir Wasami from Regina has been working with the John Howard Society to help uh, youth exit gangs by teaching them different skills, taking them out to learn how to snowboard, things like that. Very hands-on, on the ground, making a tangible difference in people's lives. Corey Nicotine uh, from Edmonton is a Cree man who, after traveling uh, with Canada World Youth, came back and decided to start a program called Knowledge is Powwow that convenes youth to sort of understand different cultural perspectives, therefore helping, you know, with inclusion in the community. It started with when I was in Africa. And when I was there, I don't know more happened, right? And I didn't know nothing about I don't know more, so I came back, went to a couple panel discussions, and I wanted to learn more, but I couldn't find any more, so I made Knowledge is Powwow. He may only be 14 years old, but this ninth grader is already politically active. Amin Ali, nominated in the under 18 category, has some practical solutions for overcoming political apathy among young people, including treating them as equal partners. I think you can do that by, say, lowering the voting age to 16, giving the youth its first step. And my belief is that when youth are 18, they're stressed out, they're going to university, they have loans, they have to get a job, all sorts of things. When they're 16, they have time in high school. They're able to think about it and think about um, how they want to vote. It's wonderful to see all these eager, energetic, uh, very, very smart and creative young people engaging through Samara in uh, the democratic process because this is their future, this is their country, they're going to make it so much better. There's some people here that are like 14 and doing more than I have in my life now, you know. Uh, but there's also people who are contributing in ways that aren't necessarily explicitly political, you know. So um, I think they're both remarkable. Alyssa Frampton. <laughs> Atar Hussein Aryan. Trina McQueen was one of the prominent Canadian jury members who had the difficult task 
of selecting the finalists and ultimately the winners. Every one of these people had a story that was engrossing, unusual, and really serious. You know, I know this is a big party with everybody smiling and laughing, but these people are involved with the deepest issues of our time in Canada. Everyone here is hopeful that initiatives like the Everyday Political Citizen Project will help dispel the notion of political apathy among young people and inspire others to become more engaged in the democratic process. Reporting from Toronto, Ontario, I'm Heather Seaman.